My research mainly deals with children's media habits and how parents deal with it. And typically, while children are more tech savvy or media savvy than their parents, they generally lack the values necessary to serve this new cyberspace. One of the most concerning issues I found is the excessive use of these media devices or surfing of the internet. When I go out to eat with my family, I often notice at other dining tables, families focusing on their mobile devices instead of on one another. I mean parents on the tablets, children on the iPhones, and this lasts throughout the whole dining experience. I mean the whole dinner, uh, they are focusing on their media devices. Last year, a parent of an eight-year-old uh, boy came up to me asking me for advice. Hey, how can I get my son off his uh, iPad? And then I explored further and found out that since young, the mother has given him the iPad as a babysitting tool. And therefore, it's no surprise how he's, why he's so attached to it. Okay. One of the worst cases I encountered is when the parents only see the child when he or she opens the door, pass him the food tray, or to retrieve back the food tray. That is how bad it got. Firstly, I believe in intentional use of these media devices. So when the school requires them to do their homework, go online to research, etc. When my daughter came up to me and said, Daddy, Daddy, can I have a WhatsApp account because I need to communicate with my gymnastic friends who are in this WhatsApp group and they're talking and I do not know what's happening. Then I started to react. Second, I believe in a guided and supervised use of these media devices. So one of the first things I did when my kids come back to tell me that they need to use the internet for the school homework, I bought a huge monitor, placed it somewhere kind of public in my house, okay, and that was the, the living room, and I taught them how to surf the internet. For my eldest daughter, I signed a smart device ownership contract with her. And I use that to point out to her what values I expect of her, what are my expectations, and I use it to teach respect and responsibility. Thus far, they've all been receptive to it. I typically do not pack uh, media use to a particular age. What I look out for is responsibility as well as their intention of use. So the way I work with my kids is this. When they first use media and technology, I will have a lot of rules, but as they prove themselves responsible, I start relaxing these rules as they grow in maturity and responsibility. Actually, all my kids are already exposed to social media accounts. So firstly, I try to set an example by surfing in public as well. And what I try to do is intentionally surf and use media with my kids. My advice for families and parents is twofold. One, know the media. Two, know the media user that is your child. So for the first one, know the media. Understand the usage, understand the affordances, understand, for example, Instagram, understand its privacy settings, understand the dangers associated with it. And this requires parents to keep abreast of technological advancements. Secondly, know the media user. It is very important that parents know their child well because every child is different. I would normally spend like one hour of internet usage per day and not that I'll use it like one hour all at the same time but at different timings I will go check my phone. I feel very receptive and happy and yet protected of my internet usage and the internet dangers as when I'm more responsible I can have relaxed rules to my smart ownership device contract with my dad and I feel very happy about it because I can upgrade myself to more social media platforms and yet I'm also more responsible of the internet danger.